A basic skill in Microsoft Excel is the ability to automatically fill data into your worksheet. This is useful for anybody who has to put months into your worksheet, maybe days of the week into your worksheet, uh, or dates into your worksheet. Microsoft Excel has a built-in feature called auto-filling, and what this auto-filling allows you to do is to easily use your mouse in a certain way to fill in months, days of the week, and dates into your worksheet. This video will show you the details of how you go about using the auto-fill feature in Microsoft Excel 2010. Enjoy the video. I'm in Excel 2010 and I want to demonstrate the feature in Excel 2010 of auto-filling data. I'll first of all click into a cell in the spreadsheet and I'm going to type in the full word for the first month of the year. I'll finish off the entry by clicking on the enter button. Now what I want to do is fill in all the months of the year in the spreadsheet. So all I do is I take my mouse to the bottom right corner of the active cell, there's a little black dot. I'll put my mouse on the black dot, I'll get the black cross which is a dragging handle. I'll hold my mouse button down and I'll drag down to row 13. It'll fill all the months of the year for me in, in long form. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put a short form for a month in this time. The short form for a month is the first three characters and there's no period. I'll click on the check mark. So I have October in. I'll go to the bottom right corner of that cell, get a black cross and drag that across to say column J and let go. And it fills in the short form of the months of the year. This is called auto filling. It's automatically built into Microsoft Excel. You can use this for filling in months, in long form or in short form. You can also do the same thing with, with days of the week. I'll put the short form for Monday in. Again, the first three characters. I'll click on the check mark. I'll go to the bottom right corner of the cell. Get a black cross and drag it down four or five rows. It'll fill in the short form for the days of the week. I'm not going to do the long form of the days of the week, but all I would do in a case like that would be to type in the full word Monday or the full word Tuesday and use the black dragging handle again to fill in the information. You can also use auto filling of data for putting months into a spreadsheet. Sorry, for putting for putting dates into a spreadsheet. Now when, I, when you go to do this, I always suggest to people when you put a date into a spreadsheet, you should always use a number format for it. Now the machine that I'm working on is set up as a month, day, year machine. Yours might be a little bit different. Yours might be day, month, year, for example. So I'm going to be going back in time a little bit. I'm going to type in the number two for the month of February. I'll put a forward slash in 24, February 24th, and 2012. I'll click on the check mark. Now 2012 was a leap year. I'm going to go to the bottom right corner of that cell, get a black cross, and drag it down to say row 15 or so. It'll fill the information in for me. And because it was a leap year, it goes to February the 29th, and then it rolls over to March the 1st. If it wasn't a leap year, it went from February 28th through to March the 1st. I have these cells still selected, so I'm, gonna now, I'm now going to change the look of the dates into a more readable format. So I'll go up to the ribbon and click on the date box, and I'll move down and I'll click on long date, and that'll format that into a long date for me. And I want to have these left aligned, so I'll click on the left align button to move into the left hand side of the cell. So you can use auto filling for filling in months, days of the week, and dates. You can also use it for counting as well. I'm going to go to cell E3. I'll type in the number 1. Click on the check mark. Now, if I want to count by 1s, all I do now is on my keyboard, I hold the control button down. I go to the bottom right corner of the cell where I have my first number. I'll get the black cross. I'll drag it down a number of rows. I'm letting go of my mouse first, letting go of the control button second. Again, all I do is I put my first number in. I'll click on the check mark. I hold the control button down on my keyboard and drag it down to count by ones, letting go of my mouse first. I have to let go of the mouse first. If I go of the control button first, it will just copy the number for me. Now, if I want to count in a sequence, let's say, for example, I want to start counting at the number 20, and I want to count by tens. I put the first number into the sequence. I then touch Enter on my keyboard to move to the next cell. I put the next number in in the sequence and touch Enter again. I then go back and I use the selecting tool, which is a white cross, to select the two cells. And then I go to the bottom right corner of those two cells, get the black cross and drag it down. I'm now, I'm now counting by tens. Here's another example. Let's say that I want to count by quarters. So I type in 1.25 to begin with. I'll type in the next number in the sequence, which is 1.50. I'll go back and select those two cells the bottom right corner of the two cells and drag it down a number of rows. They're now counting by quarters, 1.25, 1.5, and so on. I might want to add a couple of decimal places on, so I'll go up to the ribbon and click on the 
increase decimal button to put some decimals on, or I can go to the decrease decimal button to take decimals off if I choose to. It's called auto filling of data. Works for months, days of the week, dates. You can use it for counting. You can also use it for filling in sequences of, of dates. So I'm going to go now to another cell, and this time what I want to do is I want to put in not every date, but I want to put in every seventh date in a sequence. So I'll start off by going June. So 6 slash 1 slash 2013 for June the 1st, 2013. I'll move down the cell. I'll type in the next date in the sequence, which in this case would be seven days from the first date, so June the 8th, 2013. I'll go back and select those two cells using the selecting tool, the white cross. I'm going to go to the bottom right corner of those two cells, get the black cross and drag it down a number of rows. And now I'm counting, and now I'm filling in data by, by week, so June 1st, June 8th, June 15th. We'll change the format again to a longer date and I'll, I'll line them to the left again. So it's a great feature. Auto filling of data allows you to fill information into your worksheet to have months, days of the week, dates, counting. Wow, well, I hope that you found that valuable as far as being able to help you in the future to put information into your worksheets. Never again should you have to type in the months of the, months of the year into a worksheet or dates into a worksheet. Just use that feature that we just finished showing you on the video called Auto Filling of Information on Microsoft Excel. My name again is Joe Peterson. I want to thank you for watching the video. I really will hope that you would visit our website. Our website is www.joecomputertips.com. On the website, we have lots of valuable videos that you can watch to help you become more effective as you use Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and so on. Thanks again for watching the video.